Okay, I'm going to try my best to quickly go through the tasks that you need to get done for today. Uh, obviously, you've started on the uh, instruction ed puzzle, so I'm going to move on to this uh, political compass activity. So down here in Google Classroom, you can click on political compass activity. Uh, <clears throat> and so the instructions are built into the uh, PowerPoint here that you're also, or uh, Google Slides that you're also going to um, <clears throat> fill out. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on here. Obviously, you type your name where it says type your name. Copy that. Ch change it to your name. Then there are these four... Um, political designations that are going to come out on your political compass. There's authoritarian versus libertarian, and then there's left versus right. Now, some people do speak about authoritarian versus libertarian in left to right circumstance uh, uh, terms, but the people who created this political compass uh, shifted it around so you could see economic issues, which is they've designated as left or right as economics, and then power issues in terms of authoritarian, libertarian, in terms of uh, personal power and personal life power. So uh, let's go through here. One of the things you'll need to do is actually put the terms where they fit uh, of authoritarian, libertarian, right, and left. So you need to read through these definitions, and I'll give you a hint, slide two and three, your choice is either authoritarian or libertarian. You figure out which, you Google the terms, uh, whatever you need to do. And then four and five, your option between the two of those is left and right. So you've got to figure out which one is which. And so once you've figured those out, you put the title of the word that's being defined here. Uh, so here you would either put left or right, here you would put left or right. Here you'd put either libertarian or authoritarian. Here you'd put either libertarian or authoritarian. So that's your first task. Then you go to the link, uh, the political compass, and you take the test. There's six pages of about six questions each. So it's about 30, uh, around 30 questions, because uh, not all of them have six questions. About 30, 36 questions. Uh, and then once you have finished the test, you will get a page that looks like this. And they try and define, you know, libertarian, authoritarian, left, blah, blah, blah. You scroll down, they give you a few f famous people. And then they give you your political compass. Now, this is my political compass, <clears throat> according to th uh, these people. Now, you take this image that came up and you right-click on it or press down with two fingers on it and click copy image or there'll be something like copy image uh, on your Chromebook. And then you go back here and you paste that image here. Okay, so, oops, sorry, follow my own instructions. Copy image, then paste the image here. And it's better if you cover up the instructions, make it big enough so that I can actually see it. Yours is going to look differently. Your red dot's going to be somewhere else. Okay, then you go to the place on the page that says uh, go straight to your certificate. It's right under your uh, political compass image. In purple it says go straight to the certificate page. Click on that. Then you type in your name, whatever your name is, and then you click Get Printable Certificate. And it's going to download that certificate. Click on the certificate, but you also want to upload that certificate to Google Classroom. So once you have it downloaded, go ahead and add it to your Google Classroom assignment uh, as something that you're completing. Uh, I want to see the certificate with your name on it and all that. <clears throat> uh, then, then you click on the certificate. Oops, I'm having technical difficulties. Click on your certificate and find the famous person that's closest uh, to your, your dot. Uh, I'm 
close to Gandhi, and I'd love to think of myself as Gandhi, but clearly I'm not as close to Gandhi as I am uh, these two people. So then you can copy their name, highlight and copy their name if you can't read it because it's kind of hard to read, or you could zoom in until until you could actually read it. But for me, it's easier just to copy the name and then research the person. Find out something about them, who they are, what they're known for. You could look on Wikipedia uh, for that person. And so this slides tell you what to do. Type your name, get the upload it to find the name of the person, research that person. So then you put that person's name here. So I would put, oops, paste without formatting, guy's name, then type in here what they're known for. And then here put an image of that person, whoever that person is. It's closest to yours. Okay, and then you click turn in in Google Classroom. Now, if you do not click turn in, you may have completed all the assignments, but because this is very much a, we're very much in an electronic mode now, if you do not click the turn in by 9 a.m. tomorrow, this assignment will be considered late. You may have completed the assignment, but you must click turn in before 9 a.m. tomorrow, otherwise this assignment will be t considered late. So please keep that in mind. Now that we're in this complete digital mode, you've got to do that. <clears throat> All right, then your next assignment, after you've done the political compass activity, it shouldn't take you more than uh, 15 minutes, 20 minutes tops. Uh, then you do this Ed Puzzle, John Locke, three minute John Locke Ed Puzzle. You know how to do Ed Puzzles. I don't have to show you how to do that. And then another three minute Ed Puzzle on the Declaration of Independence. And then finally, there's this graphic organizer uh, assignment. So here's the two Ed Puzzles. And then there's this graphic organizer assignment. I've given you a link to the text of the Declaration of Independence, but I've also given you um, Okay, I've also given you this graphic organizer, and it's each of you has your own copy. And you're going to go through and fill in the answers to this worksheet. Now, um, these text boxes are a little... So here you would write, um, well, for example, let's, let's take a look at this. Uh, this question tends to be harder for students who aren't as good at... Um, uh, reading comprehension. But there's three major sections in this Declaration of Independence, but it, they don't identify as sections. Here we have a part that's talking about uh, the laws of nature and what is what is true about our rights or what is believed about our rights. And so this is basically a philosophy of, of, of human existence section. And then later, um, the writers of the Declaration of Independence start listing all the things that they were holding against uh, King George III, all the things that they're complaining about, one of the, reason, the reasons that they're fighting against King George III. So there's this complaint section. And then lastly, um, they declare their purpose thus. As a result of these complaints, as a result of this philosophy, this is what they declare, and ultimately they declare uh, their independence and that they are going to establish their uh, full independence as a state. So those are the three different sections. So I've basically given you the answer to part one, part two, part three. You can fill those in, type those in. Then, <clears throat> In these text boxes, where you're looking at the Declaration and trying to figure out what the purpose is, what ideas about rights are listed in there, ideas about government are listed in there, um, pick your five favorite complaints about King George. Um, in order to type in these, you have to double click on the box and then double click underneath uh, the title and then you can type here. Okay, that's how you do that. And then you click Save and Close, and that text box will have all the additions that you put in there. Uh, so you do that for each of the text boxes, and then you fill out uh, the second page as well. And then, again, you must turn in. Once you're done with this document, you must click Turn In 
um, in the assignment before 9 a.m. tomorrow, otherwise it will be considered late. <clears throat> so those are all the things you're expected to have completed by tomorrow.